Hello everyone, this is Dan. Welcome back to Overclock. So, in the last episode we got a lot of backstory on David, and things are not quite how he and, uh, communicated them to be. And it's, uh, quite worrying, actually. And, um, yeah, there's just a lot going on, and he's very disturbed, just like his patients. But now, it's time to go see Kim and get our paperwork and stuff from Mr. her. Mr. Flynn? Sir? Nope, nothing here. I've got to go. See you later. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, we paid off the hotel bill with our wedding wing. Uh, if that doesn't tell you how bad things are going for David right now... Not now. I've got other things to do. Are you serious? I We're supposed to meet Kim, man. At 8. Oh, is she saying 8 p.m.? I would... Uh, uh. I feel like it would have been 8 p.m. At a.m. Hey, they stole the tires off the car! <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. That's funny. I wonder if as the days go by, you, you were seeing more and more parking tickets, but this is cool. That's a nice little Easter egg. I guess, so, uh... How's it going? Detective, oh. I was just thinking we haven't seen you around. I was starting to get worried. I've been here since 7. We had a couple of divers in the harbor. And, uh, what can I say? We found your wallet. Why, well, yeah. Yeah, and that's not all. There's a couple of other things. I tried to call you several times, but you never picked up. Told you! I've only just been able to get the PDA working again. Okay, so listen up, Doc. I've taken another look at the thing with the mental hospital. So you believe me? Now, a couple of new things have come up that I find interesting. And you will too, I imagine. I hmm. bet. I had Jason go through the files again. Apparently, the hospital was supposed to have been shut down in the 70s. But then the plans were shelved for some kind of special program. Ooh. Those are new findings. Dr. Young already told me something like that. Whoa, hold it. So just where do you think the hospital gets its funding from? From the health authority? Wrong. The budget for special medicine is funded by the Defense Department. And your friend Dr. Young is also paid out of this budget. <laughs> the Young's on the Pentagon payroll as well. That's it. You're working in a military establishment, Doc. So oh. NSA took your file. I knew it. Young's been lying to me right from the beginning. Yeah, he He's has. Not to tell you anything, Doc. He got this stuff from a file classified confidential. Jason used a few little uh, computer tricks. I get Hacking. It. This has to be kept between us, okay? So I've been put on this case by the Pentagon as well. Sure looks that way. <laughs> the army doesn't get rid of guys quite as fast as it looks. I never thought I'd end up on their payroll again. These kids must be some kind of serious security interest for them. But why is that? That's what I'd like to know. What do you reckon then, Detective? Why would they choose me to do this investigation? My army career wasn't exactly the most exemplary I heard. You know that? Where from? Jason. Sorry, Doc, but I had to check you out. It's my job. So, <laughs> who was it that attacked me yesterday? Somebody doesn't like what you're doing. And if the Pentagon's paying you, then it's not surprising that you may be getting involved with some real bad things. Right. You're really reassuring, you know that, my lady? <laughs> what should I do now? You carry on with what you're doing, Doc. Go over to Staten Island and get on with your investigations. Act normal, but just keep out of Young's way. And not a word to anybody about this, okay? I'm going back to the office. I'm going to take a closer look at just what kind of cases that hospital has been dealing with in the past few years. You look after yourself, okay? I'm ready for anything. Good. I'll meet you again, here, tonight, and we'll talk. Can't we phone? I've got a meeting with my wife this evening. I'd rather do it face to face. Just have your meeting then. I'll be here from eight. I'll wait for you. Okay. Till then. Okay. Well, I guess it was eight p.m. Hey. I, I don't know why, but it, what's going on back there? I thought it was eight a.m. What's going on back where? What? Hold it. That rubber dinghy could be. Could be what? And we put on the... Oh. oh. Okay, we took 
both. Okay. Can we combine them? Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. We got a gun from Riker. <laughs> My bad. So. Yeah. Alright, so now do we use this? Looks like it. Gonna pull it in? I don't know how well that would really have worked. I guess, I don't know. Definitely. There's a weapon in there. Yeah, this is the thing that um the guy in cell one was in? I'll tie it up. When he got found? I guess we didn't need to buy a weapon from Riker if we got this gun. Look, we got two of them! That must be the bulk from the guy in cell one. That's what I said! Okay. Now we can... We can go akimbo style. Oh, Mr. McNamara. This is, a uh, surprise. Yeah, surprise. you thought I was dead. How do you mean? After all, it's not my first day here. Oh, yes, yes. Of course, I just thought that... That I overslept? Yes, exactly that. You overslept. Well, yeah. a person can make mistakes. So it would seem. Did you have a pleasant evening? What do you mean? That you're rested. As you can see, I'm not so easy to knock over. <laughs> Yo, what's taking so long? David, one moment. Oh, we've got a visitor. Is that the drugs rep? Has he forgotten something? No. Listen, David, I'm afraid I have some unpleasant news. Unpleasant? For me or for you? For you, I'm afraid. A fax arrived this morning. You've been relieved of your duties. Effective immediately. I'd like Since to see that. The health authority. Ah. Can I see the facts? It's uh, not here. Okay, then. Then well, I call Bull. Problem? Because I'm ignoring the suspension until I see the printed evidence. You're refusing? That's not how things work here, dear colleague. Well, you can go screw. You're no longer entitled to the job. You don't seem to understand that you're not irreplaceable. That's not for you to decide. And for real. Neither for you. I'm going to initiate the necessary proceedings now. Go right David ahead. Feel is right. Now I know what I'm up against. If he comes back and I won't be alone, it's going to get pretty uncomfortable. Yep, but we I got two guys. the patients now. What's yeah. up? So, all right. Uh oh. Let's tell the, the guy. Happened here? He's unconscious. He's drugged. Sedanol, an extremely powerful sedative. Yep. Young must have given him that. Yep. I'll have to give him the antidote. Yeah, they don't. They don't want. They didn't want anybody talking. Cause they're shady. The government. Look at that. Me showing up shook him so much he left the cockpit unlocked. <laughs> yeah. He thought we were dead. I need the sedative, so I can find out the correct antidote. Uh, yeah, well, we've got that right here. Valacetanol. Ten milliliters of akinetrin will work against that. I'll take enough for all of them with me. They'll be awake again in a few hours. A few hours? Dude. That's not gonna be enough. Young's gonna come back. Lickety split. Unconscious. Yes, I know. Give him the antidote. That's it then. Alright, so it's gonna take a few hours, so let's go to the others. She died, or was murdered, rather. My god. And they got everybody. They really didn't okay. want anybody talking. We're on to you. We're on to you. I don't believe it. Yep. How do you not believe it, David? You found right out then. that this is all military. And you left the military for a reason, didn't you? Come on, guy. Think for a minute. Think. He's unconscious as well. I know. Okay. Alright. That's all of them. 
Okay, now I just have to wait a short while. Okay. Now it's afternoon. Ah, you're awake again. The doctor. I know. He gave you something. All of you. Oh. I feel awful. I I've bet. injected you with an antidote. You'll feel better soon. I'm scared. I don't want to go there. Go where? What did Dr. Young say? We're being moved to another hospital. What? To which one? Did he tell you that? Neurosurgery clinic. I think. Uh oh. Neurosurgery? You sure? They're yeah. gonna. That's what he said. They're gonna look what a lot of my shit. What's there? Neurosurgery. That's where they open up your head, right? That. That can't be right. I can't imagine that. You must have misheard him. They're not going to operate on us, Doc. David, are they? you're so naive. I they're, wouldn't let them do that. I'll get you out of here. Totally Listen, gonna son, do that. The way things are looking, I'm not going to be able to get in here much longer. We've got to finish this investigation. And then, you've got to get out of here. You remember what we talked about last time? Yeah. Good. Now, relax. We're almost there. It's vital that we make it. Okay. Yeah. Concentrate. And tell me what you see. Before you were in the kitchen, what happened? They're probably playing deathmatch. Unreal Engine, maybe? Was that still big at the time? 2007? Or was it Halo back in those days? They're so unfazed. To be fair, I guess I would be too. I mean, we. Oh, they're getting hypnotized! Good thing they don't get seizures. Never mind, maybe maybe that is involved. You're lost. What? And that's it. Something happened to you guys when you were sitting at that computer. Something changed you. Yes, something did. Oh, damn it, I've got to get out of here right now. I'll be back soon. Why, what's going on? Can we see the message, David? I'm in New York. I am in the park. Uh, you're... Wait, 6, 12 p.m.? It's already evening? Damn, you're early, Kim. No security guard. Did you notice that? All right, it's evening. That must be Kim. Are they going to kill her in front of us? And then attempt to kill us too? Uh, there's someone behind her! Looks super shady. Hi. You're looking good. Don't bother. It's over. Come on. Let me at least... No, it's too late. And who is he? I didn't want to come alone. You scare me. Uh, don't do it! I'm sorry. Goodbye. You're supposed to give me stuff. There it is. It's Terry. Terry? What are you doing here? They've been together. Oh, I understand. Yeah, you've worked that out real nice. 
the lab. Okay, never mind. I thought he was gonna hit her. He's strong though if he knocked over that lamppost. I knew it, David. You're lost. Don't antagonize the guy with the gun. That's not smart. Say, isn't that Mr. Flynn? Good evening, sir. Can That's I all your what stuff. All this is about what, what are my cases doing out here? Your room has been cleared, sir. On the instructions of the hotel management. You're not serious. I am sorry, sir. So, where am I going to get a new room now? Sir, I have my instructions. Well, great. But this is not the end of it. You tell your boss that, okay? Can you tell me where I'm supposed to go with this stuff now? In this weather? Shall I call you a cab? No. Thank you. I'll manage. As you wish. Goodbye, sir. It's a matter of... We That's don't really care. Funny. And what am I supposed to do now? Well, I mean, there's a bags. lot of, a lot what of luggage. Yeah, and Kim just sent them all over here, so now we're stuck. I'm just gonna carry it with us. Yep. <laughs> this car is totally demolished now. That's funny. Oh wait, we're gonna I have to get rid of the bags first. Uh, have to get rid of- can we leave him at the Nighthawk, maybe? Doc, you leaving? No, I'm not leaving. So what's with the luggage? I had a little, uh, problem at the hotel. Uh-huh. A drink? No. Randall, can I leave my bags here until I find a new place? You're really worrying. What did you do? <laughs> I don't know myself. I'm getting tired of all this, I can tell you. There are a couple of people who are really in deep shit. Oh, yeah. Maybe you better give Riker his piece back, Doc. No, I need it. That doesn't sound good. What's with the bill? How Bro. Tell Consumi, I don't care anymore. Your mm. bill here with me. Oh, listen. You'll get your money. I gotta go now. So what's the plan, Doc? You're not gonna do anything stupid, are you? Who knows? I think he should have just given the gun back to uh, Riker because he, we found the other gun. I mean, sure, it doesn't have uh, nearly as much ammo, but I mean, it's still a gun, not traceable to us. Where's Moretti? I thought he was gonna meet us on the pier. Uh, Moretti? Are you gonna oh, meet us at the hospital? Moretti will definitely be along soon. That's what I thought. I thought he was supposed to be here. Like, Moretti, where are you at? Is Moretti dead? Did they kill him? The ferry boat. Where is the guy? Damn him. Where is the guy? Damn him. Where is the guy? Damn him. You know, maybe we should just call him. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do. Does he pick up? Yeah, we were supposed to call him. Jeez. Oh, we hear his Nobody phone. There. Yo, I heard his phone. We're calling him and you can hear it ring. Nobody there. They got Moretti, man. They got him. He's in here, isn't he? He's dead. Okay. Avert your eyes, children. Oh! That. They oh suffocated him in a bag. Oh God. Quiet. Keep it down. Now I'm on my own. Yeah, you're on your own. Okay. 
Let's do it. Let's do it? What? Oh, he really is gonna go in guns blazing. Akimbo style, my guy. Mr. McNamara, I've been expecting you. You have. Indeed, you have. Give me your keys, please. Your work here is finished. We've already discussed this. I'm keeping the keys. I'm going to go and do my work now. You're not going anywhere. Step aside, Doctor. Or what? Or we're going to have a really big problem here. You're threatening me? You don't seem to understand. Your time here is up. The patients are being moved to Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning. Washington? Why haven't I been informed? I'm informing you now. That should be enough. It's not. Clinic. That's sure, of no Cole. importance to you. We're waiting for a special transport unit which is arriving this evening. I must ask you to remain here until then so that the handover passes off as smoothly as possible. And... You will have the opportunity then to discuss your dismissal. That should be very... Enlightening. There'll be a representative from the authorities? What can I say? There'll be somebody there who will be able to rule on your case. Please stay on the premises until then. I've had the gates locked already. What? We'll see about that. I'll be back soon. Oh, they locked us in. They're gonna kill us! The gate doesn't open. They're gonna kill us, bro. Rather bleak. Yeah. They're gonna kill us. That's they're already preparing. What? Uh were we supposed to do something? No. The gate doesn't open. Can we use the gun on it then? Shoot the lock. The gate doesn't open. No. The gun's out of bullets. Oh, that's why he didn't want to uh, use this uh, this gun. The gate doesn't open. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're they're trying to try to kill you, my guy. Can we just pull the pistol out and then walk in and be like, "Yo, what the hell's going on?" Okay, doctor, I'm back. There it is. What the hell? Put that gun down at once. I'm sorry, doctor. I cannot accept what you're doing here. What you've planned. Don't be ridiculous, David. You'll end up in jail. I think it's more like you who's going to end up in jail. You're so hopelessly naive, David. You'll see soon enough who you're going to be dealing with. I hope so. I'd like you to move along to the cockpit, Doctor. You too, tomorrow. And slowly. What do you want to do? Shoot us? If you're not going to cooperate, that could happen. Fire away if you like. I've got nothing to lose. Except no, your life. Doctor. Believe me. To the cockpit. Now. You gotta do it, you Sit little... Sit on the chair. And if I don't? Sit down! You too, Tamara. And hands behind your backs. Time You're not up. going to get away with this, David. We'll see. Yes, we shall see. First, I'd better put the two of them out of action. Ah, let's use the sedative. Stab! In the neck! Uh... <laughs> Looks like it went right through him. Out like a light. I guess that's smart to uh, sedate them, otherwise they could come after us. Did you reuse the needles? That would be bad. Alright. We're just about done for, I think. Ah, there you are at last. The doctor was here. I know. Don't worry, he's not coming back. Where is he? He's... Sleeping. sleeping. What if he wakes up again? He's gonna sleep for 24 hours, son. You doped him up? Exactly. We'll be undisturbed. For quite a while. Listen, your fellow patients are still unconscious, but they'll wake up soon. We'll have another session now. And then? Then you're getting out of here immediately. 
I don't have any clothes. Doesn't matter. You're out of here right away. Where yeah. to? Doesn't matter where. Just away from here. Otherwise, but we'll you're... discuss that in a minute. Now, let's get on with the session. Then you again, remember meeting up in the computer room? Yes. Yeah. Think back to the time just before. I must know where you guys were and exactly what you were doing. What was running on the computers? What happened to you? Why were you there? And why was it you five? All I can't good questions. do it anymore, Doc. I'm scared. I have to know. Please, try. Okay. There... There's this kitchen again. If they really are running from the military, they're not going to get very far. Dear friends, thank you for coming. You know why you're here. Cyclops Industries has selected you to take part in their current project, which is a world's first. It was critical for us only to accept the brightest and most talented people, so you can be proud of yourselves. Being able to take part in the tests in our revolutionary program is an honor offered only to a very few people. No expense has been spared in making the setting for this test. An unusual, themed, and completely shielded environment. Shielded? For a period of one week, you will remain completely undisturbed here at Fort Tilden. It's up to you when, how often, and for how long you test Goliath. Our only condition is that you follow the test through to its conclusion. Sufficient provisions have been supplied as well as beverages and all necessary equipment. You know that cell phones and other communication devices are forbidden. For your own security, the entire complex has CCTV surveillance. We will be on hand should any emergency arise, so please have no concerns about that. So, that's everything. Any questions? Yeah. Why are you BSing? None? Very good. Then may I thank you all. Goliath is ready. Jeez. All of that was BS. All of that. <sighs> the hell? It's a test then. A test for some software? In Fort Tilden. That's on the peninsula in the bay, right across from Manhattan. Yeah, right. That's where we were. And this man? What's the name of his company? I... can't remember anymore. Ah. But this program that you were all using... That seems familiar to me. It was probably on, based finish. on your work. You guys have to get out of here. I don't know if I can. You've got to. Come on, come on! Yeah, get out of here! Okay. There's no way you guys can stay here. I'm going to let you go. Make sure that you make it through. The best thing for you is to split up and hide for a few days. What you gonna do? I'm going across to Fort Tilden. Don't do it, Doctor. They'll kill you. Yeah, they don't will. Don't worry about me. Take care, guys. Where are we gonna meet you? There's a bar on Rivington Street. It's called the Nighthawk. Let's meet up there in a few days. Tell the bartender that the doc sent you. Let's get going. Good luck. All right, so we're gonna use this dinghy to get over to Fort Tilden, I think they called it. Oh, we're in it now. Man overboard! I'm not done yet! That's some weather to be trying to row out to. Whoa. That was close. You think? I've lost all my stuff. PDA's gone too with all my recordings. Oh, bummer. Bummer? All my recordings gone. Bummer, you say? Uh, I would probably say it was worse than that. Even lost both guns. This looks familiar to me. The kids from cells one and three both mentioned it. There's a drum as well, but how do I get over there now? From this side? That's a good question. Yeah, we have nothing. Uh, 
That's barbed wire. Impossible to climb over without some protection. That's barbed wire. Impossible to climb over without some protection. Okay. Yeah, I get that. Can we use the dinghy? The rubber dinghy. No, we can't. We can't. Stone. A piece of shale. Looks pretty sharp. Oh, okay. Let's pick it up. Maybe we can cut through the boards? Or cut through the, uh... The fence, maybe? Cut the fence? No? No? I guess not. Okay. Can we use it to cut up the raft? No. No. Yeah, there's nothing else, so it's... We must have everything we need right now, right? A piece of shame. Looks pretty sharp. Yeah, we picked one up. Uh, did I miss something? Alright, let's just go back. We have to use this somewhere. My guy. That's barbed wire on top of it. Impossible to climb over without some protection. Can we use it on our clothes? No. Looks like it's a type of shale. Okay, yeah, how does that help me? Honestly, I don't know. Do we use it over here? Oh, he just stands over here. That's barbed wire on top there. Impossible to climb over without some protection. Yeah, I tried to... I tried to use the rock to cut up the dinghy, but that's... That's not a thing. Yeah. Okay. We use the rock on the stone? Maybe break apart some more? Oh, okay. I don't know what that does. Okay. There's a few real nice sharp pieces. Okay. So now we have multiple sharp pieces. Can we now use it to cut the fence? I guess now we can cut up the dinghy maybe? Okay, now he's going to cut it up. But now you got no way of going back. Okay. It might work with the rubber strips. Yeah, now you have no way of getting back to uh, the mainland. Let's climb. Let's pick up the crowbar. Gotta stop the fan. I can sure use that. Especially since I don't have any other weapon. The fan's still bent. Just like they told me. Bent? I don't remember that. Alright, so we're gonna go back the way that the kids came. It's unlocked. Oh. Okay. Look at that. That looks like the tower that the guy in cell 5 was in. Indeed. And there's the fuel dump too. 
Yep. And he had busted through the gate. That's got to be the gate he blew open. It's been welded up again. Somebody must have been here. Oh, you think? I gotta get a weapon from somewhere. Well, I guess let's try the fuel dump, man. Oh, main square there. Oh, we can't get into the... Alright. So, there was an armory in the main square. It was... Here we go, weapons store. Yeah, there were weapons in here. That's where the guy from Cell 5 got them. Grab okay. some ammo. I've got one ammo clip. One? Out of all of that? Dude. Dude. Should have taken more. Be greedy. Your life is on the line. Uh, the weapons were in here, but looks like we cannot get it. of these a weapons case we can use yeah there's not even anything that's interactable here for me to use a crowbar on so can't even do that not even these locks okay that's not helpful that's not helpful all right Let's just, um, move on out, I suppose. We'll f maybe we'll find some... Maybe we'll find a weapon somewhere else. The door is locked. Okay, so we're not going to the jail. That was the weapons store. There's the doors to the, um, I don't know, the main thing. Watchtower? That's the watchtower. The girl from cell two was here. Yes, she was. Yeah, you can't get up to it. Oh, there's a rope. She must have climbed down the rope. The rope that was supposedly from the well. And here's the, the light. Can't get inside. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go back down the ladder. And the rope, subsequently. I don't think anybody else had a gun, so... Yeah. What are we going to do with the ammo clip? Hmm. All right, well, let's just go inside, I guess. Somebody's welded the door shut. Then the crowbar? Somebody's welded the door shut. Alright, well, if it's welded shut, I don't see how we'd be able to get in even if we did have a gun. Yeah, because it was all self contained in here. Maybe maybe we were supposed to find a weapon that we hadn't found, and then a cutscene plays of some sort. I... I couldn't find anything, though. And there's... 
not too much around here that we can explore, really. Yep, nothing else here. Yeah, nothing interactable. Okay. Can we open this door? What? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know. G. O. L. I. A. T. H. Goliath. No. Uh, Cyclops, maybe? P. S. C. Wait, that didn't. Um. P. S. Y. C. H. L. O. P. S. Maybe it's P S Y C L O P S. It, it won't add that last one. same one twice. Mash! Ammunition. Okay. Well. That didn't help. Alright, so I checked the guide, and I was definitely right by trying to put in Goliath, but I was going about it the wrong way. So it's G, and then you have to hit this three times to get the O. O, and then L, and then I, A, T, H. Open. There it is. I, I, I don't see how that made sense to me. I mean, I did put in the code Goliath. I mean, I put it in like you would with, like, um, your debit pin card. I need a weapon. Ah, uh, dang it. So we need to find that weapon first. All right, so I had to check a guide again, because I was like, I can't find the gun. And he said that this was bent. I said, I thought there was something in the fan, and there is. The gun is still here. It's tough to see, but it's right there. And we use the cobra, the crowbar on it to it get the gun. Work with the crowbar. And then the gun comes out. Yep, there we got the gun. And we got the ammo for it. Alright, now let's try the door. What's that? That looks like a surveillance monitoring room. There was no mention of this in the recollections. These machines are quite modern. Somebody was here not so long ago. What the hell was this whole installation for? Brainwashing. My guy. Brainwashing. A server computer behind armored doors. The cables leading up 
for the seal. Looks like it might be a network to another computer. Most likely. I mean, if you're finding network cables, then yeah. I would think so. My god. There's hundreds of video cassettes here. Obviously, they must have recorded everything that went on here in these buildings. That could be the key to the kids' missing recollections. I've got to find out what happened to them all while they were here. They told me about the night when they were shooting in the building. And about the night where they sat at the computers. They must have recorded all of that. You would think. Alright, so... Ah, oh, man. I'm supposed to remember all of this? Dude. That's why we had the recordings. Ah, oh, Dang it. Well, I mean, the shooting happened... Not in the corridor. Not in... LAN. Oh, that's the, uh... This is the, uh, when they were on the computers. I'm sure it was the first day. Hmm, nothing unusual. I need to look around some more. Let's try, yeah, 18 to 24 hours. Uh, nothing. Come on, man. All right, well, let's try the kitchen then on the sixth day. At night. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. Maybe it wasn't the sixth day. Maybe it was the fifth day then. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. There it is. I just went through a whole bunch of them. Oh, they're brainwashed, man. Look, their eyes are all glossed over. What? They're just frozen in place. That's it. Five of them sat in a war simulator. The program must have had an influence on their minds. Strange. It reminds me of the simulator we were using back in the army. It looked very similar. That's what I said. It looked like they were, they were gonna, uh, use your methods to do stuff. And that's probably why they got you. The NSA got you back so that you could see how successful it was, I think. Alright, subject, uh, let's try subject two. See if we can find the shooting. Uh, or when the shoot, wait. I don't know what they're... Oh, I think they're talking about the shooting from the guy who came uh, and shot up everyone's door. No, nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. No, nothing. Here we go. Here's the shooting. Day four. Yeah, this dude just comes in. Walls in any with a gun and shoots at everyone's door. Gets them all. W what did you do that for? Somebody's trying to kill her, but who? The video shows the night there was a shooting here. That's the clip from the computer session that took place up in the land room. If you kiddos don't know what this is, this is a video cassette, a VHS. The ventilation shaft seems to lead upwards to the ground floor of the building. Oh, that's how we get it there. I could use something to get it open. Well, the only other time we had a vent uh, that we were able to open was with a knife. We don't have a knife.
The girls had a knife. Oh. Uh, one of them dropped a knife in the... in the vent. No, that got picked up by the guy in cell 5. Then he used it in the jail, didn't he? But I couldn't get into the jail. The door is locked. Yeah. Okay, so I found the knife. Do you see it? No, I don't either. But here. <gasps> There's a knife! You call that a knife? Now oh, that's a knife. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, game. Come on, game. Okay. Fair enough. I should have just walked around, but... God damn, that took forever. Alright. Hopefully I cut out the part getting here. Uh, we're now just well, getting into the shaft. Worked for guy in cell five, so it ought to work for me. <laughs> there we have it. Oh, open. All right. Let's, let's see if I can do it. <sighs> <sighs> Made it. Here it is. The land room. This is where the five of them were. Oh, this must be the room that was locked in the passage. It was just it just said locked room. Damn it. All of the PCs are wrecked. Of course they are. What did you think? They're just gonna leave evidence, man? This is the military, they don't leave evidence. Well, I mean they do. Evidence gets leaked all the time, but adhesive. That's coming with me. I think I just might be able to use it. Yeah, probably. You can always find a use for masking tape. Or duct tape. Somebody's done a real good job here. Yes, I noticed. Locked. Okay, can we use the knife to pick it? Nope. Can we use the gun to shoot the lock? Nope. Locked. Uh. Control room. Oh, no. Okay. Uh... Lock. But what else? Oh, computer. Yeah, portable hard drive. Hey, this portable hard drive still seems to be intact. How can you tell just looking at it, man? They could have taken a magnet to it. Find some proof of what they were doing here. Maybe we can't leave until we get that, that drive. Maybe that's it. Locked. Well, say something now. Are we not supposed to go to this passage? Alright, so... I didn't know what to do, so... Uh, yeah. I checked the guide, yet again. And, uh, here's what we're supposed to do. No doubt that this computer controlled the program. I have to destroy it. I've got enough evidence. Got the videos and the hard drive. I didn't know we had to destroy everything else. You would think that they'd, you'd want to keep it just in case. I mean, you're on an island, and you could get all of the evidence that you've collected destroyed, and, uh... Now you're gonna destroy the remaining evidence? What? Nobody's gonna believe you. 
it, but you're supposed to block the fan, and then the computer overheats. Am I disturbing you? Mr. McNamara, how nice to see you again. Even if under somewhat deplorable circumstances. What deplorable? are you doing? Yeah. Oh, you're asking me. Shouldn't that be the other way around? I have to admit I'm impressed. You are both persistent and resilient. I never would have thought you would make it here. The water off the dock is 50 feet deep. For a poor swimmer with cuffed hands, that's usually deep enough. Who are you? Not Mr. Clark from Dwight Chemicals, anyway. My name is Warren Zane. I am the project leader for Cyclops Industries. As you can see, we're working here on a few tests for a little piece of software. A further development of the simulators that you may well remember yourself. You're training young people to kill, aren't you? Influencing them with subliminal messages. Yeah, I got exactly that. Exactly right, dude. You have an excellent grasp of things. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Or you could never become Who comes of their own free will to their own funeral? You work for the Pentagon. Yes, indeed. As I told you, one of the largest employers in the country. And the Pentagon is testing the effectiveness of this manipulation software. Not only that, we're also testing whether or not we can erase the memories of our test subjects. Dr. Young's chemical method has helped us immensely. However, as we know now, thanks to your work, we must improve the further still. We don't just want killers, David. We want killers who can also withstand interrogation. In today's unconventional wars, memories are a hindrance. He who remembers nothing tells nothing. That's nothing. So, your methods have failed in my investigations in Staten Island are proof. Ah, uh, David, I believe you really are quite movingly naive. Your results are very interesting to us. Your work is going to help us improve Goliath. The next version will resist any psychiatrist. You can count on that. Why do you think we entrusted these cases to you in the first place? So I'm part of your experiment? But of course. You were already a part of the Forerunner experiments. Have you never asked yourself where your aggressive outburst came from? Oh. You mean my work on the simulator? Precisely. Sorry about your life. You couldn't have known that our experiment would have caused such an unfortunate sight. However, we find holes And as you well know, in war there are casualties. Which brings us to the unfortunate part of our conversation. I'm really very sorry. It's not. You've got a gun, shoot him! It's self-defense! I was kidding when I said that he worked for the government. Well, I was only half kidding, but I was right. He said the largest employer, and definitely that's the government. How? What? This isn't John Wick! Pull the trigger. You're gonna disappoint me if you don't. You're a killer, Dave. You can't do anything else. Go on, do it. Like with your wife, David. Get it off your chest. You see, you wanted to do it. You're a success, Dave. Thanks for the help. Uh-oh. Huh? Is it the kids? Did they follow us? Oh, he did! He did! Whoa. I'm still here. My eyes see. My ears hear. My head thinks. The other is dead. The world turns when it clicks, almost silently. When it gets dark, you don't see who's flipped the switch. Time stops, just a moment. The world keeps turning, with us, without us. Cliff Mandrake. Broker. Laura Fawcett, art student. 
Victoria Montgomery, model. Oh, these are the, the people, the kids. Jonathan the... Bate, student. And now self Ray Thornton, warehouse worker. David McNamara, psychiatrist. They were all the test subjects. Switched. Overclocked. Darkened. I'm still here. My eyes see. I'm alone. At last. What? Now they're just sitting in Central Park. At least the guy got some clothes now. And it's finally sunny. Of course. The storm is over. Enjoy it. Enjoy your freedom. Him? Were you part of this all along too? Do you also work for the government? Are you here to kill David? Uh-oh, the police! Wow, uh, that was quite the adventure, guys. Uh, I know the game was a bit dark, but I mean, I thought the story was very deep and involved. The only thing is, is that I can see that the developers went for like a cinematic type of thing. It's got, it has that movie feel, but um, I think just like with the movie, there were a lot of like logic leaps you had to kind of suspend for a little bit, but. Overall, I thought the game was good. Um, there were some puzzles that I, I don't know, I couldn't make sense of it. That's not surprising given my history of uh, adventure games, but this this game just, it has a lot of things for you to think about. Um, not necessarily the good Beely types, but I feel like it, it, it definitely gets you thinking about uh, one, the nature of your mind and the things that it makes you do, whether you realize it on um, a mental level or not. And also, th there are things that some people do that may seem out of place, but there is always a reason for why people do things. Th there's a reason. Whether or not it makes sense to you may be something entirely different, but there's always a reason. And, and to get into the conspiracy theory, the government's always always looking into doing some shady stuff it's always bad but yeah this uh it was an experience i'm glad i played it i don't know that i would play it again just because uh it was so dark but if that's if that's your jams i mean i would certainly recommend playing it it was it, it's an experience from beginning to end it does feel a little bit slow in the beginning and if you, especially if you went in blind, it just it felt. Uh, how, how do I say? It felt like you weren't sure what was gonna go on. But there were little things here and there that were great, like that car outside the hotel, like increasingly just it's getting destroyed. Um, there were there were parts that were also really good where, you know, the you would go into the interviews and you just piece things together kind of like you know when if when you're watching a movie if you're watching something that has like a, a mysterious intrigue or there's like a complicated story you got to piece things little by little and as you get certain pieces of the clues uh you th you have certain ideas but then you get something else introduced and then you go wait maybe it's something else now i appreciate that it was very cinematic and done that way. But at the same time, since I watched so many movies and stuff, I, I, if you watched the whole playthrough, thank you, first of all. But uh, I called a lot of these things. Uh, Half-jokingly, yes, but I mean, I, 
I don't know. I just felt like a lot of it was uh, obvious, I want to say. Well, I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I enjoyed it. But um, I think in the next game, I'm going to do something a little bit more upbeat because this one was pretty dark. I hope you'll come in and join me for the next one. And until then, goodbye.